Hey guys, this is Valu and today in this tutorial I will show how I created this water filling into glass simulation using fluid simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the video useful. So I keep a target of 50 likes for this video, please help me to achieve the target. Now without any further delay, let's start today's tutorial. So here I'm using Blender 4.5.3 version, nice. So first of all, let's clear this default sim by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So in order to get models, I will be using this Blender Kit add-on which is free to download. So first I will search for tap model, filter this by free first. So here I will be using this chrome water tap, simply click on the image and it will be loaded here. So here we can see we got the model, so let's increase the scaling, so press S and increase the scaling here. So I think this much is fine. So now let's add a plane, so shift S. Mesh, select a plane, press S and increase the scaling and press tab key for edit mode. Move this to its selection, select this edge here, press E, Z and extrude along the Z axis. So now let's search for glass model. So here look for glass and I will be using this model. Simply click on the image, it will be loaded. So here we got this glass model, right click, select objects, press S and increase the scaling. And this is also parented to empty. So let's select the empty here and let's move this along this axis. Press 7 for top view. So yeah, I think this is fine. Press S and reduce the scaling a bit. So here we got the glass model also. So now let's move on to this fluid simulation. Before do that, let me apply the scaling. So select the glass model. Control A, apply scale. So first of all, let me hide out this empty. Let's hide out this empty also. So now let's add a spear. So shift A, go to this mesh, add UV spear. So this is going to be the water source. So reduce the scaling. And I will place this inside the tap. So I think I need to reduce the scaling a bit further. So press S and let's place this here inside the tap. So I think, yeah, this is fine. So let's apply scaling for this also. So control A or else you can go to this object, apply, apply scale. So for simulations, make sure to apply scaling. So now being selected that spear, go to this object, quick effects, select this quick liquid. So now we can see we got a bounding box, right? So this is called domain. So the simulation takes place inside this domain only. So first let's bring this domain at the top. So press one for front view so that it is exactly on the top of this plane. So if I play this now, nothing seems to be happening. So let's select the domain, come to this physics property. So resolution, I will change this to 64 and let's check this. So if I play this now, you can see we got the liquid, right? But it is not collecting inside the glass. So let's select the glass here, apply fluid onto the glass and type change it to effector. And if I play this now, so still it is not collecting inside. So being selected this glass, enable this ease planner option. So now let's see once again. So now the liquid is staying inside the glass only, fine. So first of all, let me animate the knob of this tab. So here I want this knob to be opening at 50th frame or else let it be at 30th frame. And add a keyframe here. So come to this object properties. So here I want to animate this in y-axis, right? So I'll add a keyframe for this y-axis. Now move 10 frames forward in timeline, like 40th frame. And let's animate here like this. So let it be 90, okay? So here we'll get this knob opening animation. So I want this to be like 150 frames. So be at that frame, add a keyframe for this y-rotation. Now move 10 frames forward in timeline and make it 180 and add a keyframe. So now we will have this animation. So the knob will be opening, the liquid will fall and later the knob will be closing, okay. So here the liquid is falling from the starting frame, right? So we need to control this one. So we want that liquid to be falling from 41 frame. So beyond this 40th frame, select the sphere, which is our liquid source, come to this physics property. So flow type, change it to inflow so now disable this use flow option and add a keyframe so now move one frame forward add use flow option enabled and add a keyframe so now if i play this we will have this liquid simulation happening after the 40th frame 
and we want this simulation to be stopped after 150th frame sorry after 160th frame so let's come to the frame here so at 160th frame we want this liquid flow to be stopping right so let's select the spear here add a keyframe to this use flow option at 160th frame now move one frame forward disable this use flow option and add a keyframe so now if i play this we will have this liquid simulation starting at 41 frame and it should stop at 161 frame so now you can see the liquid simulation is stopped at 161 frame nice so now let's reduce the scaling a bit so press s and reduce the scaling a bit of this usb here and apply the scaling and let's see this because it is filling the glass right so let's play this once again so now we got the simulation what we are looking for so let's increase the resolution of this domain so let's select the domain here so resolution i will make this 256 and scroll down and here enable this diffuse option and come to this presets here i will select the water so here we got this water preset applied now scroll down make sure to enable this mesh option so now let's select the cache folder so so frame start and end 1 to 250 is fine so type i will change this to all now click on this bake all option so it starts to bake the simulation so it will take time depending upon the resolution what we have set to domain so here the bake is done and if i play this now we will have our fluid simulation done properly nice so now let's move on to this render viewport here so click on to this render viewport so come to this world properties so first of all let me set a camera here so shift a come to this camera select camera now control alt zero to see through camera now press n on the keyboard come to this view options and let's lock 3d cursor and camera to view now again press n now let's click this window so here okay so this is render view so again let me uncheck these things so here you can see the scene is looking dark right so first of all let's come to this world properties and let's make this strength zero now let's add area light so shift a light add area light here so bring it at the top let's increase the scaling okay so i think let it be here so let's move this so the whole scene is visible so i think this would be fine now let's select this area light come to this light properties and strength i will make it 300 so now you can see we got some light in the scene so now let's change the pivot point to 3d cursor so that it locks onto this 3d cursor and now let's place this here okay so we got this area light in the scene so let's rotate this a bit and let's move it behind okay nice so now this is going to be the key light now let's add another light here so shift d so you can see i have duplicated this light so now let's change this to local and let's bring this light behind the objects and let's place this at this point here and let's rotate this aside so let it be here like this uh, let's bring it behind yeah and let's reduce the intensity to 70 so we got some nice rim light here so if i disable this you can see we are getting the trim light right nice so now let's add another light in the scene so let's select this light only shift d duplicate it once again and now let's change this to global and let's move this here so this is going to be the fill light so the strength i will reduce to 150 so this is key light this is fill light which is side to the object and this is rim light which is behind the objects so key light should be 100 percent intensity fill light should be 50 percent intensity and the rim light should be 25 percent intensity okay so now let's change this to cycles and let's enable gpu compute nice so now you can see this is looking much better so let's select this one press tab key for edit mode let's select the edges here and let's move this so that it covers the scene completely so now let's change this to object mode once again so now we got some lighting in the scene so this is three point lighting so let's collab this here 
so let's select this light once again ring light and let's rotate this bit here and let's bring it at the top so now let's select this basic or plane now here i will search granite material so here i will be applying this material so simply click on this image and it will be loaded onto the plane so we got the texture now press tab key press k to select everything u smart uv project and unwrap so now this is looking good so if i adjust the camera view here so i think this is fine so now i think we got the materials also so if i select this domain it got this glass material which is be like water and I cure is 1.33 okay so if you don't want to have this reflection of this light here so if I select the lights so if I select this light if I hide this one you can see we are getting that reflection side so if you want to hide out this reflection let's select this light here so this is the plane so this is the plane right so let's select this light come to this object property scroll down come to the shading option light linking click on this new button and select the plane drop it onto this area and unhide this one so now you can see we are not getting the reflections but the light will be staying there only so if i hide this out you can see the rim light is present there but the reflections of the light are gone so this is looking perfect if you want to change the color of the liquid let's select this domain come to this color option and from here you can change the color of the liquid so i will make this to default only so if i move on to the starting frame you can see we are getting this domain visible from the starting frame so if i hide this domain here we won't get the liquid also visible so we need to have this domain visible from the starting frame but it should not be rendered so for that let's select this knob where we have added this keyframe right so at 40th frame the knob opens right so till that frame we don't want this domain to be visible so beyond that frame click on this camera icon here and disable it so that it is not visible in render and add a keyframe so press i to add a keyframe so now move one frame forward enable this one and add a keyframe so now till 40th frame the domain will not be visible in the screen after 40th frame it will be visible in render nice so if I play this now, it may be visible in preview, but it will not be visible in render. So let me show you. So here you can see it is visible in this preview, right? If I render this out, we won't have that domain visible here. Okay. So in this way, we can hide out this domain. So now let me show you how we can render this out. So come to this render properties. So render engine, I will be using cycles only device GPU is enabled. Scroll down, come to this render options. So samples, I will make it 128. So if you want to have much quality, increase this number. So 128 is fine for me. So if you want to enable motion blur, you can do that. So I will enable motion blur here. So come to this color management. So if you want to add contrast, you can add contrast from here. So we got some contrast added in the scene. So now come to this output properties. So resolution, it is set to full HD. I will leave this to full HD only. Now enable this render region, crop to render region. Frame rate 30 is fine. Frame range 1 to 250 is fine. Now here we need to select a folder where we can save the file. So quickly I will select a folder here. So here I have selected a folder. So now come to this file format. I will use JPEG and quality let it be 100%. Nice. So now just come to this render and click on this render animation. So it starts to render the sequence. So once the sequence is rendered, you can use any editing software to do composting. So here I will be using Adobe After Effects to do composting and later I will render it once again. So in this way we can create these fluid simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then signing off. Take care. Bye.